This boss fight made me want to get hit by an actual meteor. And if you're feeling the same way, I have some tips to make this fight less painful. But first, let's start with the most important tip. Get Horfrost Stomp. Just get it. This Ashes of War is quick, it's safe to use, and it applies Frostbite on Radahan for... MASSIVE, massive damage. DAMAGE! You can find it in the lake southeast of Carrion Manor on an invisible bug that runs around in circles. Now if you're feeling good about the fight seeing this damage, you can stop watching here and just give it a try. But if you want some extra tips on where and when is best to use it in the fight, stick around! In the opening phase, you want to make use of your horse. Use the cover and dodge his arrows as needed, then mount up to escape the arrow rain attack, all while picking up the summon signs you pass by. Don't forget that you can use your mounting and dismounting animation for iframes in a pinch, or if you just want to style on him for revenge after being one shot a hundred times by his jumping attack. Once you get all the summons, get close enough to force him into melee mode if a summon hasn't already. I highly recommend dodging towards Radahan. You'll evade a majority of his attacks this way, and you won't have to punch B like a chimp trying to speedrun a mobile game. If you're lucky, you'll be able to get him far past half HP before he leaps into Phase 2. Which brings me to Phase 2. I don't like Phase 2. At all. But let's skip Phase 2. As soon as he lands from his Meteor Dive, he'll slam his swords down and summon a ring of Meteors. During this windup, he's incredibly vulnerable. Spam your stomp. <laughs> Spam your stomp move like a kid who got an N64 for Christmas in the 90s and is filled with enough energy to cause a 7.9 magnitude earthquake. You should be able to kill him before he even has a chance to attack you. And that's it. Now go. Kill him. For me. And for Wolf Daddy.